Hi, this is Fran Torson from The Video Shop. I'm going to show you how you can open a project file in Explainio. Uh, let's say you have a new video project. You've purchased something from me or from another one of the Explainio uh, video creator content specialists, and you want to open that and customize it and make it your own. One of the most common mistakes people make is they go up here at the top of Explainio and they try to import the zip file or the folder and open their project here. This isn't the place where you do that. This is an import area for slide packs and sketches and images and music and fonts, but this isn't where you open a, uh, a project. Where you open a project is over here at the far left at Open Project. Now let's start from scratch. Let's say we've purchased a project or we have a new project. I have a uh, file here I'll use as a sample and this is a project that I created for myself which is a, a military lead generation folder. It's a zip folder and so the first thing I need to do is extract the file because you cannot import a zip folder into Explainedia. Uh, open the folder and that's where you see the assets you need to create your project. You have a folder here. You're going to leave that closed, but just for the for a moment, we're, I'm going to show you what's involved here. This, These are the slides attached to the project. There are assets in each slide, and there is a uh, an audio, a soundtrack, some music. This is where we want to bring it, all right? So we're going to go back to the, the folder here. We're going to open this folder here that we just unzipped, and this is what we need. Um, we're going to open this file here, the, this is a project file, and this is a font file. So I'll show you what we're going to do here. First thing we're going to do is go back to Explainio. We're going to open a project. We're going right here to this file, and we're going to open that. That will open your project. Now, one of the things about this particular project is that it has numerous areas of text that are designed in a typeface that is not a standard default typeface. So there is also a font file. So I'm going to open up the text here, all right, and I'm going to import that font file that's right here. It's called Stencil. I'm going to import that. I have it on my down here already, but what you'll do is click on that, hit open, and that will add the font file to your collection. And you can uh, continue to work on these areas right here, on these text areas, using the font that is now built in. So that's how you open the file. All right, that, and then you can certainly make uh, changes on any of these slides. Um, you may choose to open the canvas if you like. If you take a look here, we have a whole bunch of slides that each have a single line of text. And this is how it looks on the canvas. So when you click on the canvas at any of these particular slides, you'll see the, uh, the text outlined. You'll see here, this is we help you. And you can, you know, if, if some of the text is written over other text, you can read what you're looking at right here in this text area where, where you have the text entry. And again, all, any of this area here can be, any of this text can be modified and changed to suit your needs. Um, we have additional videos that show you how to do that and also how to add a call to action at the end of the video. So you close a canvas, you can make any corrections you want right there. I think it's a good best practice to save this as before you even get started. Um, save it as, a, give it a name, and every now and then save it as you are customizing your video so you don't lose your changes.